this is going to be a very, very short little video using R to do some cluster analyses and plot the results. The main idea comes from this lady here, Vidisha, and she's put together one command that does something that is very nice. So in this, that lib path is only relevant if you're running off a USB stick, as I am here. We use gplots. That contains the functions she's using, or actually that heap dot two package. I'll load in my data file. This is what it looks like. It's environmental data, and then the first three columns are categorical, indicating the site and status. CO control IM impact three sites, five reps at each. Now, heat dot two, oh sorry, heat map dot two works with a matrix. Um, at the moment, I've got a data frame, so I need to change that and also get rid of those categorical variables. So now I've got a matrix which just has 30 rows, four columns, and the data. And because it's environmental data of different kinds, let's look at it again. So we've got a depth, sediment, particle size, nutrients, and hydrocarbon. These are different scale variables, different kinds of variables. So we need to scale it. So doing that there. And then heat map uses as the default Euclidean distance, which is appropriate here. Now, it says there's an error there. In fact, these graphs are dynamic, and so if I give it a bit more space and run that again, we should be in better shape. There we are. So that's what it should look like, and it's got two different cluster analyses here. The one at the top here is doing a cluster analysis on the variables to look at their relationships, and the one down the side is, as you can see, clustering the samples. And then there's a heat map on here indicating distances. From the histogram we can get an idea what's going on. The red is small distances, shading through to the light yellow, which is the longer distances. And you can see we've got mostly short distances, so a lot of this is very red. Um, but some longer distances. And the main difference is in the sediment particle size, which are showing somewhat different relationships to the other three variables. In terms of going down this way, we can see sites clustering in groups based on whether they're impact or control locations. I'm operating here in a small window so that the video is scaled appropriately on YouTube. This will be easier to see on a larger screen. That's it. I thought this little display here was incredibly nice. It gives a lot of information in one graph. And so well done, Felicia.